Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Cisco Packet Tracer 8.0 in Windows 10. If you follow all the steps as I do in the video, you will not get any installation error like sorry, we can't find a NetCAD account associated with this Cisco account or so. But before starting, uh, you should make sure that you have the verified Cisco NetCAD ID or you have a new email. In my case, I have created a new email address and I'm going to use it at least for this video. Let's get started downloading the Cisco Packet Tracer. Open your favorite browser, search for NetaCAD Cisco Packet Tracer and hit enter. Click on the first link that takes you to the download page. You won't get the direct download link on the page even if you scroll down and search everywhere. But here you can see simply enroll into introduction to packet tracer course to download the latest version of packet tracer. That means you need to enroll into at least one course provided by the Cisco Network Academy to download the software. Enrolling into the course is free though. So let's click on this link. Here scrolling down a bit you will see sign up today button. Hover over it and click on English. Now you will need to fill up this form. Use the new email address and after filling up all the information correctly, click on the create account button. Now you are successfully enrolled into this course. Next you need to activate your Cisco NetaCare account. The activation link has been sent to the email that you entered at the time of signing up. So let's log in to Gmail. Here we can see the activation link sent to our email. Just click on the email. Scroll down a bit and click on activate account link. Here you will need to enter a new password for the account and repeat the new password to confirm. Then click on create my account. Again, you have to enter some more information such as your gender, birth date, your practical experience in IT or networking and so on. Then click on create account. Okay, the sign up process and enrollment process is all done and you are asked to start learning. But you can just close this pop up. Now if you scroll down a bit under the resources section. You will see a link to download the packet tracer software. Click on it. Scroll down a bit. You will see the software download link for Windows desktop, Linux and Mac OS. Since I am a Windows user, I click on this 64 bit download link. As we can see, the download is started. Just pressing Windows and J keys at the same time, we can check the download status on Chrome. The download may take some time depending your internet speed. I just fast forward the video. Okay, the download is complete now. Just click on the .exe file to start installation. Click on run. Click on S if you get the prompt like this. Click on I accept. Click on next, next a couple of times. And click on install. The installation is complete now. Just click on finish with the launch Cisco Packet Tracer selected to launch it right now or uncheck the box to launch it later. As you can see the software is now installed and the desktop icon has been created. Double click on the shortcut icon to launch it. If you get the prompt for whether you want to run a multi-user when application starts click on S to continue. Click on allow access to whitelist the program in the firewall. The login screen appears. Enter the email that you've used when creating the NetAcar account and click on next. Enter the password and click on login. There you go. The packet tracer is now ready on this computer. Now you can create the network simulations, learn networking and design 
small to enterprise networks. Let's close the packet tracer and let me give you one more useful tip. Now if you launch the packet tracer, it doesn't prompt for the login screen. But in the next boot, you will be asked to enter the login credentials again. So let's see how we can configure the packet tracer so that it does not ask for login credentials even in the next boots. Let's reboot the computer. Now if you launch the packet tracer, it will ask for the login credentials. So enter the email, click on next. If you check this checkbox that says keep me logged in, which is recommended for personal computer users, you will not be asked to enter your credentials even in the next boots. Let's enter the password and click on login. Now onwards, the Cisco Packet Tracer will open in just two clicks and let you do your works without any issue. That's all for this video. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to keep watching and learning. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the next. Until then, have a nice time. Take care. Goodbye.